Yo, what's up? It's Daikonsan here, bringing you something a little bit different today. So for once, I'm actually not streaming while I record it on forward slash Daikonex Dan over on Twitch. If you're not following, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that follow button. But I want to go ahead and talk about this Melty Blood type Lumina official tournament. I want to watch the grand finals with you all because I heard it was pretty good. I heard there was some pretty nice competition there for Melty Blood type Lumina and the tournaments over in the US, right? So if you don't know, the first one happened uh, for the US Central. So US Central happened. Uh, 45 participants and there's still time to actually get in if you want to participate in the u.s west and u.s east u.s west is going to start september 25th and it looks like the u.s east is going to be november 13th so you got a decent amount of time you you know still play the game and stuff like that and you want to get inside the official tournament series you still got some time to sign up for the west and east uh portions of the tournament so look at the grand finals was against lucy versus masoma which is going to be a double vlog there and what happened yo i thought everybody was saying this character wasn't good i know masoma has definitely been putting this character in the map showcasing how strong this character actually is i think i've seen a tweet also by somebody saying that somebody was preparing for the vlog master up over in japan and they had like a bunch of people in a lobby together and stuff like that so i guess this character was definitely slept on and people are showcasing why this character is actually mad strong you know i think japan didn't feel too highly of this character but of course people in the states have been showcasing why this character is such a menace so we're about to watch a double vlog top eight the cool unique thing about this character if you don't know they have like sort of a unique mechanic where they have like a fire mode and then when they lose around they go into the ice mode the ice mode i believe the projectiles and stuff are a little bit more faster and probably get like a little bit extra damage and stuff like that but let's go and take a uh take a look at this grand finals all right so here we go so this is the grand finals with someone versus lucy here so yeah this is going to be very interesting right because you if you know the mechanics of this game you know there's like a very strong shield and stuff like that but they both have projectiles that can sort of mess with the mechanics a little bit so it, it, it definitely probably be annoying on both sides i wonder how well vlog is at dealing with himself so i don't does lucy normally play vlog i'm not sure but i know masoma definitely for sure definitely plays vlog oh nice yeah so there's definitely like a bunch of like heat setups and stuff you could do nice combo yeah see like the full screen like this is one of the things that vlog was definitely more interesting with right because he is a donor right he's okay with sending you full screen after like a lot of his touches right because that that's where he he shines he shines full screen it's kind of hard for you to approach him there is shield and stuff which can discourage him from using projectiles but his like ability to like play in the mid range also is just very good because he just has a lot of good range with the throw there nice yo his throw a disrespectful bite you take a little bite out of you throw you to the side dang come on vlog we don't gotta be like that bro yeah the pressure reverse beats he also has access to a command grab too right like off his reka he can go into like a slash or do the command grab as well so i can imagine his pressure being pretty decent as well so now we're starting to see the ice right here right so you see the fire from uh masoma here but lucy is inside of the ice form so probably going to have a little bit better of an advantage when it comes to using their normals just because of the fa a little bit of faster start up oh got caught by the stumps the stumps, I believe, are still a low, if I remember correctly. So really fast. And then, of course, you could do it into a super and then do it again because the super, for some reason, is like plus from full screen or something. It is ridiculous. They also mess with the, the ice as well. So they made it to where I believe it hits higher. So it connects a little bit better now. Ooh, got caught right there. So now they're both in the ice stands, right? So it is pretty easy. Uh, pretty early playing field we're pretty uh leveling playing field here you see them both going to the the shield right there at a point because they they both know they both know how the shield works versus it right it, it discourages you get the meter as well you get the moon gauge meter you get a little bit of uh meter as well so oh nice jump out of it right there the spread of the projectile is pretty interesting so he has a couple of sets he could do so like you could do like because he could do two right so you could do like a and b or b and a and depending on like what order you do it or a a b b he has like it cover like slightly different angles right so as a law player i would imagine you would have to know exactly what angles you want to cover with the sets you're going to do when it comes to using your projectiles sometimes they sort of just like toss out the one uh, it's going to have less recovery if you do that oh they're both yeah they just pop both popping it 
I wonder why they both popped it from full screen. That's a pretty interesting interaction, actually. Nobody else is allowed to play Vlob. It's in use right now. Here we go. Dang, a lot of his combo potential is really good. He also does pretty good damage, right? For a zoner to have the type of damage that he has, his damage output is actually really good. Oh, nice odds was there actually. I actually don't see this character play that much, so watching this at the highest level is actually pretty interesting. Like I, I know Masoma has definitely been on a tear, but I actually have not seen too many uh, other vlogs besides them, and I haven't watched too many uh, tournaments recently of Melzy Blood. There were hits. There was just but confirmed. I definitely, I definitely was interested so in the tournament. Staring at each other full screen. Yeah, see shields. It is like who, who is gonna stomp? Who is gonna activate the, the hand? Right? Who's gonna jump and try to like get past the, the stomps? See, doing the shield right there, give him a lot of uh the moon meter. I think they changed it too. Like you only get one, like, I think you get like one tick of like health and moon meter based off the hits like if it's a multi-hit you don't get multiple ticks anymore because it used to be like that that was like sort of a change that they did Ooh. that was the uh premier geez okay so this set is looking pretty even right now you know while lucy is up a game with soma and lucy are going back and forth in the set I think the set actually goes the distance too, if I remember correctly. Someone telling me. See, this game is nice though, bro. Like, I know, I know people don't really like the way the shield and stuff is in this game. Oh, see, he has an overhead, so he he got past it. Like, if you if you take a like, if you know, if you don't think about the shield, or I mean, you have to think about shield, but. If you are aware in the game, I don't know how much shield actually matters that much. I mean. You know, when people were talking about the shield, they were saying, like, you know, it lets it to where anybody could win and stuff like that. I don't know if that's necessarily the case. You know, you see a lot of the same people topping these tournaments. You know, you always see Masoma in tournament. You always see Scrawl in, like, you know, top eights and stuff like that. Like, these players are very strong and they're very consistent inside of the game. So, I don't necessarily think that's the case where it's going to be, like, that much RNG. Well, it is RNG. There's still a consistency inside of the game. Like, the better player can truly still win inside of this game, it feels like. Which is nice, right? Even though there's a mechanic that majority of the people don't really like. I know a lot of people still want shield change, even in top players and stuff like that. So, still, still some things that can be kinged out. But for the most part, they are enjoying the game to the best of their abilities, which is always nice to see. Well, he gets a full convert, confirm off that like that? I didn't know that. I didn't know he could go back to down to the ground. I know some characters have like staircase combos where they could like land and then like go back up into the air and stuff like that. I didn't know he had one. Vlov having one of those that air dashes that don't cross up is also pretty nice. This is dang yeah. Look at the damage here. I see. I start to see a lot more players do that. I guess that's like optimal stuff to do, where like they start putting like a bunch of like light attacks at the end of their combo in the air. I guess it gives him a, a little bit more damage than just doing like a B or something like that. Doing like light, light, light gives a little bit more damage than doing a raw B. I guess that's the the reasoning there. I actually don't know. Or is it like a height thing? I don't know. But I, I see like cheeky players do it and stuff now too. It's just something that I see a lot now. Getting caught with the ice. Look at this. Ice, ice, super, ice, ice, super, ice, ice, super. <laughs> Jeez. I wonder what, how the chat was like. I wonder how the chat felt about this being the grand finals. Do like do chat hate this character? Like I don't I don't actually don't know how people feel about Vlov. Like there is a character that people hate in this game. Is it Vlov? I don't know. I don't really know the chat opinion. Let me know down in the comments below uh, if you uh pay attention or you were in the chat when this was going on. Do people hate this character? Let me know. Jeez, that that throw animation is still every time i see it bro i'm like that is disrespectful we'll see if lucy yep she's just sticking with love hoping that that those two okay so the commentator saying lucy is sticking with love meaning i guess they play someone else like i said i don't think i heard it in the, i heard the name lucy before but i'm not too familiar with them i for some for the longest i used to think lucy was uh lunar but they're completely two different names but i don't know why i used to think lunar and lucy were the same person yeah there goes the jaa again <laughs> oh nice i like the went for the the overhead but then also dash cancel to try to get another one the overheads aren't really like 
I don't I don't know. They're, they're just like pressure applying, like re reapplying pressure. They're not something that they'll probably really both get hit by, right? Because it, it's pretty slow. And because like it's like one of those ones that don't cross up is a very long air dash. So you got plenty of time to react to it. It's just a good way to reestablish your pressure. Now, this game doesn't have a guard break like the previous versions, but you still have to worry about stuff, you know. You're not you're not trying to block forever. Especially because they're so familiar with this character and everything that this character can do. So, I mean, Ooh, that was a very scary really shield. Cool I wonder what they were looking for there. Maybe we're going to another game. Oh, heat. Yeah, so the heat being uh, air unblockable or just unblockable, period, right? Was able to get that situation and get a, uh, get a bunch of meters, though. He access to that super right there. Even at lower percentages of the heat, it doesn't matter. As long as you got a little bit left, you get access to that super. Nice shield on that. I'm surprised, honestly, we don't see more of the shields. But I guess they could, like, do it to where they fake like they're going to go for the high and then go for the low. That is something that you'll see, too. They'll do, like, a late charge. You see the charge, so you immediately go up. But then you get hit by lows or you get hit by a grab, right? Because the the charge is so late that it's actually not even going to hit. So it's just, like, sort of a fake setup. A lot of characters got something like that. Jeez. I, I was about to say, if that was a full combo... It was just like a quick OTG. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Look very impressive. Full screen pressure. Law came to handle himself. Nice. Using the BC to like get out of the situation. I, someone told me now they changed it to where BC beats BC now. Can somebody also uh, confirm that for me? I'm not sure. That's crazy, bro. That's sick, though. That he gets to confirm of that. Triple into the air. His auto combo looks very good. I know they buffed it too, right? So it hits higher than before now. It's like the pillar part. Jeez. Oppressiveness from full screen. See, doing, using the shield there, getting a lot of that moon meter. It's very interesting to see the, like, the uses of moon gauge also outside of the activation of it. They're, like, they're using it a lot. So it, it's nice to see that like, the meta of the game has changed. All, like before, a lot of people weren't actually using moon skills outside of moon drive itself. But I guess there's one of the characters that could definitely utilize that a little bit more, right? Because he he doesn't have to push himself in, right? He's not going in like that. He kind of just uh, using his moves, and he's get he get combos from like that full screen to mid screen range like that, right? So using his moon skills like that is probably not so bad of an idea. Where like some other characters may want to spin it more on moon drive. It may just be like a ball specific thing, but. I would have to like watch more of this game at the highest level to actually like get a, a good feel on that. It's crazy that the low thing pulls back into. Oh, nice. And was able to shield. Yeah. Oh, see, that's what I was talking about right there. So it looks like you can. If someone else do it, you could do it back and you, I guess you can punish it. So it's like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. If that's actually the case, like usually when the tool was first introduced, it, it seemed like a disengagement tool right like if you didn't want to deal with the actual rng aspect you could just do that spin a little bit of your moon gauge and sort of get out of the situation but to be fair if you do hit with it it is a very good combo like it is like unscaled or something like that is one of the best starters in the game or it used to be i don't know if they changed that but it definitely used to be so uh yeah i can i can see they they want to like sort of nerf the tool that's just not the way i would consider nerfing it i don't know I would consider like just nerfing the scaling on the, on the damage so and it's keeping it to where it's still a safe disengagement tool here we go ice versus fire right now oh did they press shield up there i think they press shield so they actually were locked out from blocking when they landed landing recovery in this game is huge right a lot of the options you do put you in landing recovery so if you dash you get landing recovery if you press a button in the air you got landing recovery the only thing that like stops you from getting landing recovery is double jump that was good the os the osing so there is a few oss in the game some people hate the oss but i feel like the oss are definitely a necessary evil to deal with the defensive options in the game you know one thing that a lot of people said about this game early on for sure was that a lot of the options in this game the defensive options were stronger than the offensive options right a lot of the defense in this game is stronger than the offense in itself i know vlog probably seems like oppressive from like the full screen approach but you know rest of the cast if you think about like how the defense works in this game you know you have activation that slows down the game you have a 
a shield mechanic that literally creates rps you have a burst that's unblockable you know, it's very, very strong defensive mechanic on top of, like, you know, some characters having DPs with that. It gets pretty oppressive. And then the moon drive making everything clash frames and stuff. It's pretty crazy. All right, a little, little verse beat pressure going on. Nice. Block the overhead. Oh, wow. You get to extend the pressure like that and then spin a little bit of meter to keep plus frames. Interesting. I think Vlaw has is a little bit on the slower side when it comes to their up close normal, so they probably have to take a few more things that some other characters probably wouldn't take, or it's probably a little bit more of a risk, right? And he doesn't have a DP, so he kind of do have to hold some of this. But I mean, you always got shield. Ooh, nice. Gonna get a lot of that life back and a punish on the shield. The one thing I do like about this game, and one of the interesting things about shield that never gets old, to be honest, is when like the the players are on a on a different mindset right they're on a different level of the shield game and there's like there's different layers right there's layer one then you can start going to layer two and it, it started getting crazy right like you know i know so that i'm gonna do this or i'm not gonna do anything off the shield because i know you're gonna shield back so then i get a free punish it, it gets crazy so we have a bracket reset oh bracket reset from masoma side okay masoma is in this wish that they hadn't gone right in because i would like to breathe please let me breathe but masoma is putting in some work that was very close though that was 2-2 two, two. and then uh, masoma took it uh 3-2 there so this is a uh, pretty good set so far they're definitely going back and forth and so to my surprise this grand final is actually going a lot faster than i thought it would Ooh, yeah nice disengagement again i, I think they could have definitely be seed back though if it was any, if it's anything like the last time, weird use of auto combo there. Some characters got some really good auto combos to use in neutral in this game too. Like I remember Saber had a menace one. I think Mario actually got a pretty decent one too. And a few other characters definitely got some pretty decent auto combos. Sabers was on a different level though. When I played, I was like, bro, this character's auto combo is OD. For once, for once in its life, five A won something. <laughs> five, five is so short. One it's one thing double, you know, I Melty is definitely proud upon is I'll the movement in this game. Space. Having access to all the different movement options in this game, this it feels nice, right? Especially when you get access to even more movement options. Once you're in Moon Drive, you get access to more. It's like what up to three jumps and two air dashes. That's a lot of movement. I know some people are still not fond of the way they handle super jumps in this game, how it automatically pushes you forward, though. I think people just wanted to take you straight up. It sort of limits the, like, sort of the options of your movement in this game a little bit, though, which is a little bit, you know, weird, but I don't know. I guess it was the approach they wanted to take. Besides that, the movement in this game still feels really good. Ooh, nice. Okay. Well, I was about to say, it, I guess you can do it from that far. Just probably mess it up. That's, dang, that's really good. You know, that was like one fourth of the screen away from the corner. It was able to pick it, almost able to pick it up into the launcher. Jeez, that is a huge chunk of damage. Usually you'll see like Vlaws right there. They'll charge up because they got time to like still charge and apply pressure from full screen. So Vlaws is one of the characters that can actually utilize charge pretty well. But I guess versus himself, that's kind of risky, right? Because I mean, you're dealing with another person that has the same tools as you. And you're both in ice form. So the normals are just going to be naturally faster. I wanted to be Blood Moon. It was right there. It was low hanging fruit. Jeez, it's scary, bro. Oh, nice. Oh my god, he actually moon drive through the projectile. Moon drive, yeah, moon drive through it. That was very nice adjustment there. They realized that they were about to get punished. They used the invincible frames from the moon drive activation to actually save themselves. That was very smart. Oh, but still got clipped. Super not even needed, but we're going to do it anyway. Just to secure. All right, this set is going down to the wire, bro. This is a good ass set. He decides to stand up at the last second and gets hit by that. They are both displaying. They are both displaying like you know high level of this character. Yeah, I mean, you said it in the grand finals reset that Lucy is sticking with this character because she felt like it went okay, and I, I do, I do think it's going fine for her. Wow, immediate shield. Okay, I guess they, they wanted them off. Get off me. Wow. Dylan, yeah, dealing with the <laughs> dealing with throws. All right, throw loops. Here we go. You know, throw is one of the few ways you can actually be shield. Oh, here we go. Yeah, with the layers, right? 
Back to the nice the throw take. I forget in this game if you take a throw or you plus. I I I imagine. I think you are plus. I think you're. You got a few frames like plus two, plus three or something like that. Very very small. Here we go. Yep, doing it again. So so impressive, right? Having to deal with that, but luckily you know you're. It's another lob on the other side of the screen, so they they had the tools to try to mitigate this storm even from full screen themselves. So pretty interesting to see law deal with themselves it looked like they have an easier time than some other characters now that i'm thinking about the tools and thinking about the things that they can't really do in a neutral like i was saying with the full screen charge and stuff there's just certain things that you probably won't see in the mirror match yo look how much gray life there is on lucy's side you know when you block you lose a lot of your life on that and it could potentially like just be gone like all the chip damage so if you heat you can get all that life back it's basically recoverable life you can recover it Jeez. oh nice jump over nice that was good and there was no uh moon drive activation on the other side it didn't have enough meter to actually do it because that would have kept them safe because one thing you can do is as long as it's not like an invincible attack or any, uh, yeah as long as it's not an invincible attack or a super i believe you can cancel the activations of your attacks into that into um into moon drive i forgive you can do it off special moves i think you can but i know you can do it off normals for sure okay just mooned up just in case no you, you do have to worry about moon skills doing clash frames and stuff like that i don't know how good Vlogs, clash frame moves are i haven't really seen them apply really any they kind of always just go for the projectile stuff so it may just be either a personal preference thing or just probably is one of his better tools Ooh, just outside of the range of the actual yeah outside of the range for it so he's probably gonna die here is this death jeez no it's not death not enough damage nice hey and he was able to that's really good was able to like hit him from that far and was able to come close and you know if they didn't use the actual moon drive there or the uh heat there that was probably at a far enough distance to where it would have baited it as well so it's just he got some really good ranges where he could hit you but you can't hit him like i said very good at long distance and just has a really good mid-range game on top of having some really good damage like vlog this character is a menace nice bait on the throw run up instant air dash and because his instant air dash doesn't hop over opponents that's something he can actually utilize especially since they start they started putting the throws in the mind game now right we've been seeing a lot of throw loops and stuff we're starting to see a little bit of small charges come out yeah yeah see the little small charges coming out from both of them do you get a fatal counter in there as well? So that was a little bit more damage from Lucy for a little, little scary to do it though, but they, they're trying to put it on the table. Right now across the board. This is the stomp loop matchup. Jeez, whoever's gonna like flinch first and got the hit. This is definitely probably death. Yeah. Jeez. Like who who's gonna get the stump off, bro? <laughs> so that is one on one. Oh, they're actually returning the room. Wait, so Lucy is actually a Roa player. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, so this is their main character. I guess they kind of wanted to go head to head with uh with Masoma. They were actually doing very good, actually though. I actually don't know why to switch now, but I, I don't know. I guess I mean you know it's, if it's your main, then hey, go with your main, see how it goes. But if they stuck that long with it, I I, I kind of feel like you know they they probably don't like this matchup maybe maybe that's why they did it right i would imagine they'd be like yo i'd rather fight the mirror than try this match but so far they're going in all right you know roe is a character that people were definitely like you know he's i know I remember people saying like he wasn't that good and stuff and all that but some people definitely you know showcase his character i think this game in particular this because of how strong the defensive mechanics and the movement in this game is just about every character has the ability to win in this game i feel like which is good right you always want a game to feel like that and i, I think that the options of the game the universal options the game give you allows for every character to actually be playable which is always nice but someone cleaning up there so it didn't it didn't turn out too well but uh i'm pretty sure lucy could bring this back a little bit let's see all right yeah, using the shield the shield is going to give them that moon meter and it's going to give them a little bit of that gray recoverable life back too so it can discourage the use of projectiles a little bit 
but Masoma is not caring. Oh, nice. And that was a punish on the actual uh, recovery. It's a little bit scary to do that, though, to be honest, because that's attack's not a low. They were standing shield, but that attack's not a low, and they could have held the shield for longer. It was just, I guess they just knew. Ooh, kind of messed up the setup there and actually got fuzzy mashed out. Okay, now Roa does have access to a DP, so some of the stuff that happens here, I'm pretty sure probably a little bit more uh, DPs could probably happen a little bit more. This is not looking good, though. All right. Okay. Oh, I got caught. The stagger was so good. Jeez. Yeah, this matchup looks a little. It looks a little rough. I don't know. So returning again. About to go back to the mirror. Probably didn't like the matchup. Like I said, the reason I probably played the mirror is because of th that match. Probably is not good. It definitely be like that sometimes in fighting games. You know, where like there's just a matchup that you just feel like is intolerable. It could it could be a personal bad matchup or just a natural bad matchup for your character. You feel. And sometimes you rather just play a secondary. And sometimes, I guess the secondary just happened to be the mirror match, right? Rather play them at their own game. It's been working out. I thought it was a weird choice that they would go to their main then. And when it was working so well with the Vlov, I mean, they were going dead even. Just, you know, with someone just a little bit more clutch. Obviously, this is their main. So probably have a little bit more experience with it. But, I mean, look at the look at the work that Lucy is putting in. Like, their, their Vlov is right there. They're just, like, they're just as good. To press two way on wake up there and not die. Nice. Sure. Very scary. Very scary situation. Yeah, Masoma can't get hit by anything right now. One stomp, one little tap by the sword, anything with it. Nice. Doing it again, right? Utilizing that activation to keep themselves safe from that situation. They're looking for the stump. They see the stump and they're doing like TK fireball. And in order to keep themselves safe, they use the, uh, the moon activation. Especially when they got no life, that's something they gotta consider. That is scary because they can't heat activation from that far because it has so much recovery that Lucy would just be able to actually punish them. And it's like Lucy doesn't want to get close because that will allow them to actually get a free heat activation if they don't shield it. So it was it was a pretty weird situation for Masoma to be in. It's like you know they probably wanted to use heat, but they couldn't. Jeez, a full-on combo from that? Jeez. Oh, I thought there was about to be an extension. Flash frames. Nice, low. Good stuff. I'm saying, like, you know, you could definitely bait out some shields like that. We're going with the low, but then also, like, Fuzzy Mash will beat you going for the low. It's, it's a decent amount of options you can try to do. They're, like, the defense in this game is uh, pretty good. It is, like, kind of always, uh, like, an answer to something. Just trying to get Which makes it to why you always got to change up the way you do your pressure. You know, you can't have one structure in this game or shield and a bunch of other things will just blow you up. Nah, oh, that was good. That was good. That was so good by Lucy. All right, what are we going to do here? Run up throw. Throws do have advantage in this game, luckily, so you don't got to worry about <laughs> not getting some advantage. Oh, nice. So one one strong tactic always in this game is like doing your pressure reverse beating, and if they're holding the shield, you can see that they're holding the shield down or low, and just going a different going the opposite direction to get the punish, right? Even you don't get the punish if they let go of the shield, like block you. I mean, you still got frame advantage still, so you kind of won the interaction at the very least and got to reapply your pressure. They're both waiting right now. This is very scary from either one, bro. Any touch could be death. Run up. Wow, run up into that. Masoma could... So Masoma could actually... Yes. Wait. That, I could have sworn. Whoa. Wow, okay, okay. Because I, I could have sworn that using heat... Was it heat? Or so, I believe something stops the clock in this game, right? Yeah, you see he has stopped the clock right here. So if Masoma wanted to, they could have stopped the clock with the heat. But they actually was able to steal that, which is crazy. All right, so Lucy's still in this. Not over yet. So scary. Stomp, stomp. EX stomp. Stomp, stomp. EX stomp. So much chip damage. 
Nice. What are you going to do all this? All right. This is basic pressure 2A. Ooh. See, the layers that we're on right now. Wow. That is a pretty nice option, actually. I don't, I don't really see people try to apply that. Oh, nice. Okay. See, it's like they didn't shield back because they know that the shield could be, like, detrimental, right? It's, it's so many layers that they're on with the shield game right now. It's like they're, they're both in each other head. Nice. So that is also a good option, too. If you do... I, I remember someone talking about that. If you anti-air somebody with shield, using a delay, like, anti-air attack kind of beats up a lot of the things that a person could do. Because you'll beat them. Like, if they do shield themselves, they land and they have the recovery. So doing the delay uh, delay anti-air is actually pretty nice. Okay. Masoma, can you do it? You gonna close this out? Ooh, oh, that was a scary situation, but didn't confirm it. And Lucy is going to bring us to the last game. 2-2 two, two in the actual reset. Jeez, what a set. This set is sick. You know, even though it's a mirror match, this is a pretty good set. I'm not going to lie. I do enjoy this game still, bro. This game is definitely fun to watch. It's very entertaining. All right, here we go. Last game. Here we go. Here we go. Ask for anything more. I could ask for one and a half more seconds to breathe after Got recovery. Got these again with the baits on the air shield. Super scary situation, right? If you're looking for so many things, your initial reaction is probably just a shield. But that is one thing you can do. I was just about to say, but you can mash out of the instant air dash because of how slow it is. It's just if you're looking for so many other options. It, it, that's usually not always the option you're looking for, right? The, like, when you actually see it, it's like, oh, your initial reaction is shield because you reacted late. Because you're looking for so many different things, so many layers. Wow, full screen conversion from there. Masoma, you're crazy. Dropped it, though. Wow, nice throw. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Yo, this is anyone's game still, though. Either either way, whoever wins is a good set. Like, I, I, both of them should be proud of the performance they had here. Does open up for Lucy. All right, Lucy, going in. Oh, getting. Oh, okay. Decided actually sought it to actually go for a little bit of the actual charge there. Yeah, got a body overhead. Wait, what happened there? Was that one of the follow-ups? That couldn't have been one of the follow-ups. What, what was that? Yeah, that's the follow-up right there, right? Wow, both shielded at the same time. Screen. Using a lot of the uh yeah, using a lot of moon skill meter. I cause when you use the moon skill, I know you could like jump cancel immediately and like go for stuff too. So you could sort of follow behind it like how Lucy was just doing. Nice. Get a combo off that. Oh, try to try to bait something out again. So probably try to bait out a shield there, like do the instant air dash, then jump again to like try to see the reaction. Once again, can be jabbed, but hard. All right, last round, last game. Here we go. Yeah, that's that is. Yeah, you have to spin it now, right? You have to get some damage from the heat. You don't want that meter to go to waste. You got to get something from it. All right, you are using everything, right? Use the heat. We're using the moon uh, activation. Oh, that's a good hit. Get a full conversion from that from full screen. This character is ridiculous. Oh, actually, they didn't stay jump there like they wanted, I guess. No! Oh, that sucks. Actually got the OS on the shield. I mean, on the uh, heat there. This may be it. This is looking very good for Masoma here. Not. Oh, nice. Oh, but they dropped it. No. <laughs> you hate to see it. That, that was a very good situation. That That's a very crucial drop right there. You hate to see that. That's them. That's some in nerves right there. That is that is one of them drops that will come back to haunt you for sure. Actually got another one off. Ooh, that's scary. That's actually scary. Yeah, you see, that's what I was talking about right there, right? Once you anti, once you block one with the anti here, it's like they really can't do much. And that was good stuff. That was actually very good. So yeah, looking at the rest of the top eight bracket here, you know, you see there's Lucy versus Luna, Masoma versus uh, Blooming. So there's a lot of good. Names inside this tournament. Ten, uh, Tenchi was here as well. So I see a lot of uh, names that I'm used to. And remember, this is just the central bracket. So there's going to be the West Coast bracket 
there's going to be the east coast bracket so if you don't see some of your favorite players here fear not they're going to be playing on their uh side their regional time for the actual tournament so uh, i'll definitely be trying to look at the other ones as well and uh, hopefully you know one of these maybe i remember i think the last one for the official one that's where we got like the announcements and stuff so i'm pretty sure we're going to be getting some announcements on something eventually you know of course for the extra characters that we're supposed to be getting and stuff like that there'll definitely be some more stuff coming so expect definitely to hear some more melty blood news from me once some more stuff get announced but let me know how you guys feel about this do you guys want to see more uh video reactions and analysis to actual like you know tournaments and stuff like that let me know down in the comments below if you like this type of content and as always if you like anything i had to say drop me a like greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me all in my socials also don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications so your next video goes live as always my name is daikin and i'll see you next time signing out